Meantime, while they may be small in size, thrips are always a big concern for cotton producers around the state. That's especially the case this year as less than ideal planting conditions have caused a bigger than usual infestation of the pests. Damon Jones has the story. If you want your cotton crop to end up looking like this, you need to avoid a start like this. That's the problem many producers in South Georgia are facing as the thrips population has reached a record level this year. Uh, we've had uh, much higher thrips populations uh, this year than we had any previous year. Uh, actually since I've been at the University of Georgia, which was back in 1996. There are a number of factors that have resulted in an increased number of these pests this year, such as higher pressure and slower plant growth. However, the biggest factor, of course, is the weather. It goes back to a lot of the conditions that we've dealt with and uh, the cool conditions, which caused a slower growth habit in the cotton. And we had strong thrip populations, so the cotton has been unable to outgrow the thrips on its own. While thrips are small insects, they overwhelm the plant with numbers, which can cause big damage if not treated properly. Thrips are going to affect the crop in several ways. Uh, first and foremost, we see the crinkling of leaves, the malformed true leaves, and that's just a result of the feeding injury. Also, what we see is stunning of the plants. The plants just aren't growing as vigorously. While there are plenty of sprays to choose from to help fight this problem, perhaps the biggest weapon they had is no longer available. Of course, the thing that all of us are battling is the loss of Aldicar products to use in our cotton. That was the best tool that we had in our chest, and uh, it was a set it and forget it kind of chemical, and now we're having to be more observant of what's happening behind us. And that's really the key to proper management, as keeping a close eye on your crop is essential to fighting a problem that shouldn't be taken lightly. First and foremost, uh, spend some time in your fields uh, looking for injury. Uh, and if you have a problem that needs to be addressed uh, based on our published threshold, you know, address it in a timely manner. Uh, thrips are almost a pest that, that some of us take for granted, uh, and, it, and it shouldn't be that way because they can be yield limiting. As for the products that are available, while there might not have fully replaced Timic, there are still plenty of good options. Uh, our foliar spray options, again, are, are effective. Uh, but, uh, you know, they, they're only going to give us control for a few days. And if we're in that situation where the plants aren't growing, you know, we still have real small seedlings, a second spray is needed in some of our fields. Oh, yes. Once you get the dose on it within three to four days, the next true leaf that that cotton plant is putting on is a very good looking leaf and the growth habits of the cotton look good. So while thrips have caused more of a problem this year than in previous planting seasons, that hasn't put a damper on the producer's optimism. I've, we've got a good, vigorous growth habit in the cotton now, and uh, the daytime temperatures are up at a good condition, and we have adequate moisture. And you put it all together, and, and right now things look really good. Reporting from Colquitt County, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.